Thank you for joining us on Sundogs TV. We are now joined by head coach and general manager Marco Piacinero. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now this is the fifth season as a franchise for these Arizona Sundogs and you've been here for all five. How gratifying is it for you to be here the whole time with the Sundogs? No, that's certainly a pleasure to be here. You know, we've, we came in six years ago and built the project and uh, certainly uh, a great place to be. I was having a good time you know, raising my family here and uh, the project has been uh, nothing less than uh, a lot of fun. Now obviously every year you have roster changes, but what makes this team different than all the rest? Well, I mean, every year, I mean, kind of repeats itself, but you have uh, different challenges every time you change the roster. This year, we changed the roster quite a bit, uh, but I like the uh, camaraderie that's in the room right now. I like the energy that we have, and uh, I'm not so sure that it's uh, it's a whole lot different because we try to focus on the same on the same uh, you know character you know for the players mm -hmm. is to to be uh, good on and off the ice. And obviously, this year. We want to be good on the ice. We need to have success on the ice and be part of the playoff and uh, bring back the franchise where it used to be. But uh, one thing that we've pride ourselves is off the ice. You know, we we have good quality guys once again, and uh, it's been some of some of the quality of the Sun Dogs. Is every year uh, we pride ourselves to have some role models in town. Now going into this weekend set in Texas, the team is six nine and two overall. What has the first month and a half of the season been for you guys? Well, challenging. You know, we've had uh, a lot of injuries, and uh, we've had to, to deal with that. And uh, what I like so far is the guys. You know, they didn't give up, and they they, they came up. But maybe one game out of the whole games, I wasn't very satisfied with the effort. Uh, in a sense that you know, uh, eight one against Evansville was mm -hmm. a very disappointing game, and, and the rest is just a matter of uh, you know, gelling together and performing together. But so far, they've showed some great character, and uh, you know, we certainly uh, think we're due to go on a streak, and it would be good to go on a streak with uh, this road trip coming up. Now in the last six games, you're 4-2-0, oh, so that streak is starting a little bit for you guys. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying by the fact that they never gave up. You know, we went on a road trip that was very difficult. The next one coming up here is a very difficult road trip, but uh, we seem to be able to, to do pretty good in those circumstances. So I'm looking forward to, to continue that. You know, going on that last road trip, we, we were able to, you know, bring points in five games. You know, so that was, uh, that was good, and we, that's what we need. We need to compete to get points and bring those points back home and start taking a, a home advantage a little bit. You know, we, uh, we need to, to start gelling a little bit better at home, but certainly uh, want to build off a good road trip again. Now you mentioned injuries. You're getting guys back this past homestand versus the Americans. You got back guys like Visser, Smith, and Irving. How key is that for the core of your team and just to bring back those veteran pre presences? Well, every time you have an injury that's coming back, it's it's good. And obviously, they need a little bit a little bit of time to adjust themselves. Some guys haven't played for 15 days, 30 days. So when they come back off that injury, there's a little bit of adjustment time. But uh, it's good to get the guys that are injured back into the lineup. And obviously, we've lost some more guys, but that's the way it goes. Now this Texas road team that you're coming up against, Laredo, Odessa, Rio Grande Valley, six games versus the three teams. And going into the weekend, all three of them are within four points of the Sun Dogs. How big is that for this road trip, knowing that you can gain some ground in the Barry Conference? Very big. You know, it's a, that's why it's such a, a good road trip to, to go on and make sure that we focus on on the two points every game and earn points every game. Is what's the it, that's the goal for us right now. Uh, obviously, you play teams against teams in your division, so that's the big key. That's why it's such a big road trip. Is you know that somebody will move ahead to or lose to. So uh, we want to certainly be on. The, we want to benefit from this road trip, so we have to have a good focus. Now we just got done talking with Chris Bartoloni, your assistant coach on the team. How much fun is it, is it having him on the bench now with you? It's fun, you know, he, uh, he knows the game and obviously uh, has been uh, you know, a, a, role model, a role model here for us you know, in, uh, in the Sundogs country. You know, he's, been, he's been the Sundogs, exactly. he's such, a, such an anchor for the uh, organization. And he's been fun to have around, especially on the bench, you know, his energy is always there and he's still, uh, he's still a player at heart, so he, uh, he has a few comments here and there for the referees at times, which uh, you know, makes me giggle and you know, it, keeps, it keeps it light, that's for sure. Now, in the month of December, 13 games, what are you expecting upcoming in this month? Well, if it was up to my expectation, it'd be always good, but uh, no, certainly uh, I wanted, want the team to gel together. I want to bring the, the wins together and start building off you know, that, that team that's going to get ready for those playoffs, and we, we want to be on the inside. Uh, of, the, of that race. We don't want to be on the outside looking in again. So uh, the last two seasons has been tough uh, for that reason. So we certainly want to be in the playoff and that's, what, that's the momentum we want to build. 
Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Coming up after the break, we're going to ask Coach's players if they know how to spell his last name.